Patrick. Together, we are JP Adventures 19. Good morning from Perth. Hello. We got some Unimog flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want to put them? In the Mercedes Benz bag. <laughs> Where are we, Ellen? Uh, Mr. Wetwall, check it out. So, plenty of selection here. Yeah, so gloss options, matte options, all different designs. Um, gems. So, look at this. Maybe we should do like a party room. Oh, yeah. We have to move it. Glitter, <laughs> glitter on the wall is definitely what yeah, Patrick wants. Yeah, and then wants. I was surprised Patrick suggested rose gold marble. What do you think? <laughs> Grey marble would be nice yeah, as well. Yeah, that's pretty. And then we got this other side. And there are matte colors. So, matte Carrera marble, concrete, and all the other designs. Or like a stone look. So many patterns to choose from. So which one are we taking or are we going to keep it a secret? <laughs> this one. Ooh. So it's matte. It's Carrara white marble matte. And um, the good thing is when they get wet you won't see the water drops. So it's easier for me because I'll be the one that has to clean up. Maybe I clean too sometimes. Oh, really? Come on. That would be a surprise Patrick. Come on. <laughs> And again, not sure how we're going to use our bed tonight because our bed is full of Mr. Wet Wall panels and trims and glue and <laughs> everything you need to install them. You so. can use them as your covers tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, that will be comfy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really happy that we got the Wet Wall panels. Um, why we actually went for them and the whole story about them will be in the video when we actually install them and um, yeah we're actually really happy and they're super light so they were easier to carry around than our windows when we picked them up in Perth <laughs> So we moved the overhang to our workshop, right Yele? Yes. Yele has on her safety boots. And now she's rust converting the inside part, so when we weld it on we won't be able to get underneath the beams anymore, so we'd rather do it now. And I will do the rust, uh, the turps. So we clamped the rust converted steel sheet to the frame and now we'll weld it on, right? Yep. <laughs> Let's go.
So we've got a decent system going here. Wire brushing. Right in there? Yeah. Wire brushing party. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> and now the biggest challenge, we have to cut a piece of sheet metal that actually fits this triangle. A to bit, make it look cool. A bit odd, over-engineered, but we'll make it happen. All right, we created a template on a cardboard because it's easier than holding up the three mil steel plate. So we created this and then we transferred it onto the steel plate and now we're going to cut it out. It's raining! <laughs> and here we go, the other side. It is try two of trying to make the mounts for our CNC slide sleds. So I'm gonna start by cutting our sheet and then start making the mounts. Yeah, that's actually cleaning up because it looks like a mess over there. <laughs> I finished drilling, cutting, and drilling the mounts for the sleds so these mounts go on here uh, as you can see I messed up once so they go on like that pretty much the holes line up I've put in the screws to check to see the holes line up completely so these are done now moving on to the bearings these are the screws or the bolts that I'll be holding in the bearings and now I just have to cut some angle to be able to put the screws through uh, and mount it onto the frame so the bearings can actually hold up the balcony frame. So hope I don't mess this up. Alright, so cut these 60 mil in length. Drill the 16 mil, or actually it's a 5 8 hole into it, so that means the 16 mil bolt will go right through it. And then we'll clamp two uh agricultural bearings in here bolt it through and that will be the main support for our slide out balcony and it and looks like this when it's finished exactly and what is this patrick and these are the mounts for our linear slides which will go on pretty much the opposite side of the the main support bearing of the Now we got two of them, one for each side. And these yeah. are the bearings that we're using, agricultural bearings from Richmond. So today we keep working on our slide out balcony. The weather is terrible, it's stormy and rainy and it just wouldn't stop. <laughs> So we're inside the workshop and now we're just trying to figure out if all the holes line up or if we have to redrill some of them. So far it doesn't look too bad. Only two on the other rail out of how many Patrick? 20. 20. <laughs> so on the other rail there were a few more that didn't fit 100%. So what we're doing now we just use a slightly bigger drill and we go through the holes again just a few and then hopefully all of them are gonna fit afterwards it will be quick 
really quick. This is our next step. We will actually weld this angle to the steel bar. It might not make sense yet, but when you see the result at the end, where it's gonna be in the box, you will get it for sure. So, as you remember, the slides, the slides go on to here, on this side. And it's super windy! Oh. And we have a nice scenery, baby sheep and this paddock everywhere. what it looks like now and Patrick will grind down the walls so it's flush and we were done with uh, one side and now we're doing the other side but uh, um, the SHS we're gonna attach it to is already inside the box so we're in our box and clamping it on here And as you can see, the second side is in, welded in, and he Patrick grounded it down already. And now we have to weld on weld in this bar with the angle on the side as well. We are trying to clamp everything in the way that it's supposed to be, because we have to weld in this bar and this one as a support, and then we have to figure out that. This rail and this rail is the exact same distance in every single spot along the way because we have two slides, one on that and the one on that one. Yele is cutting our bump stops. <laughs> And this morning I read that apparently this is the wettest July in Perth since I think it was 1947 or something like this. So it basically rained pretty much every day in July. Good times. Good time to build a camper out of the Unimog. He's not happy. We can watch the baby sheep. These bearings will go underneath here, but in there, inside the box. And the problem is that there is one to support exactly where the bearing should be. So we're trying to figure out how to do it without, um, that we can still have the bearings underneath. And so we are destroying <laughs> the support <laughs> a little bit. And then we'll just weld in one of the nuts and so the screw will go through here and then there's the welded in that so we can tighten it and this part will pretty much not be there we don't we won't use this part just the bearings and the other side doesn't look very good <laughs> It's enough now. Does it fit? Yeah. Woohoo! It doesn't look very pretty, but it will do the job, that's for sure. Hopefully. <laughs> that's the most important thing. Yeah. 
so it should work like this and now patrick's gonna weld the nut on into this part and he might try to fill the hole a bit so it's not that big and we don't need to use that much sika flex <laughs> but yeah And the nut is welded on and Patrick um, actually fixed his hole again. <laughs> One side. Fixed the hole. Now to the other side. Oh, <laughs> it's oh. a bit, bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> and it worked. Look at this. <laughs> Happy Patrick again, and happy Yelle. It's not dark anymore, so we can show you our side of balcony. So it's not welded on, but we used a lot of clamps to try to figure out how it's gonna fit. And now we'll spot weld it and then try again. Are you excited, Patrick? A bit nervous to be honest. <laughs> Look at this. And now the last few welds and then everything spot welded and we can try again without any of these clamps because it gets kind of stuck somewhere here. I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's probably one of the welds of the bearings, but we'll see. So we'll weld everything else first and then take off the clamps. to make it work the way we want it to work and the main issue are the bearings right now so we want to be able to actually slide it in and out and like to be able to take it out completely so that the slides are mounted before and we just slide it in or out because they are grease nipples so we want to be able to grease them or if anything breaks we just want to be able to take the whole thing out so the whole system worked already but not we couldn't slide it out completely, so now um, we're working on that. All right, we have spent a lot of a lot of time on the balcony, slide out balcony, and it's not satisfying. It doesn't work the way we want it to work, or it does partly, but not completely. So we are thinking about doing a whole different system. We'll see. We need a break. So now we are actually cutting the trims. They're going to go around the edges everywhere. So this should work a lot better than this balcony. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> 